George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape, and a way to schlep on his elephant, Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. You're probably thinking, wow, what a view. And check this little guy out. What a cutie. But don't be fooled. Mother Nature isn't just adorable animals and gorgeous scenery. She's also Jerko Lemmings. Chucking other animals off cliffs is a biological imperative for these furry jerks. As a result, Jerko Lemmings live action-packed, but spectacularly short lives. George never plays favorites, even though those jerkos really had it coming. It's okay. Maybe Rhino had soft landing on huge pile of animals. Uh-oh. Really? You're going to toss George off the cliff, too? Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay, you welcome. No, 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 have to bow. Bye-bye. George, go now. Excuse me. He's getting weird now. Hey, what big idea. Wow. George, what's that noise? Whoa! Oh! Uh, Ape, help! Jocko Lemmings! <laughs> George likes carrying people through jungle at night, too, but please put George down. George, the hidden for heavy full cliffs. You know what that means? Holy bananas! <laughs> Who he? That's Wayne, the great furry one. He's the Jerko Lemming's supreme being. They worship him. Completely? Uh, George not know what to say. Feel awkward. George, I think you're their new god. Oh, George really blushing now. This can't go on. You have to tell them you're not divine, George. Ain't right. Toast bag! Oh. Okay, George, go to work now. Protect jungle and stuff. George, appreciate breakfast, but better if you stay here. Also, George, not God, okay? Okay, good. Ready? Oh, that's so cute. It's not cute, it's wrong. And the little twerps are always underfoot. See? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that go badly. Now go even worse. Huh? Oh, thanks, Jerko Lemmings. Don't speak too soon. George got you! Really? Get okay. George, no need help. It's a long story. Not only are their workplace hazard, they're eating us out of treehouse and home. The 
to mention they shed like a Sasquatch. And they keep doing that. Bad Jerko Lemmings, no ape tossing. George, tell them to go, but they don't listen. I'm sorry, George, but it's them or me. Hey! Jerkos, put ape down, now! George, mean gently. There, good. Bad, bad Jerkos, stop! Jerkos must stop following George, or George get angry. See? Finally! <laughs> hey, George say he no wants you here. Yeah. Please never ever leave George. Oh. Beware the adulation of the masses, my friend. I have you. Mayday, guys! There's a throw down at the watering hole. Someone cracked someone else's butt with a towel, and now it's all crazy! Oh no. George, quickly! Just be right there. Oh. Fine. We'll handle it ourselves. By we, you don't mean me, do you? Because there's all this science I need to do, and wow! Such a baby. If I cried every time I got gangrene, I'd be all out of tears. <sighs> Wake up, George. <laughs> oh, hi, ape. You're the jungle king, not the uh, massage king. Oh, you right, ape. Whoa, George, too relaxed. I don't care. Go and do your job. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me go! Oh, this was not my intention, though you did capture my cheekbones quite nicely. Now, see here, this serial verification has. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> never stop doing this. Ape, you right. George shouldn't have. Hey! Oh, yeah, right there. Oh. Not fair! Why, you get massaged now! Because I'm the new supreme being. <gasps> Sorry, George, you'd have to bend over backwards to win them back. <laughs> These Jerko lemmings are way too easy to impress. This happened! So quit your cage match and get back to work! Cage match? Oh, you are an ape. Excellent idea. Winner takes all. Massages, that is. I'm the great fur one, a.k.a. Wayne! A giant talking lemming just arrived via lightning bolt. Nope, not gonna happen. Yeah, well, I refuse to believe in you, too. Wow! Ha! Science geeks always crack me up. So, you're the two idiots who stole my worshippers? Uh... Oh! Have I 
mention I'm one of those old school angry gods? Oh, oh yeah, from the top row. Oh, oh, oh. There's only room for one Supremo being around here. This guy. And in case I'm not clear, I summon the Great Cliff of No Return. I think you guys know what to do. George, sorry, Abe. He let fuzzy feet go to head and glutes and lats. Oh, remember. I too fell under the spell of a thousand fuzzy feet needing my troubles away. I'm sorry, George. Bye bye See you later. Next time, get your own mindless fanatics. What? I mean, come on. You're not the brightest worshippers in the tool shed. Hey, I am Wayne the... <laughs> you jerks. Good thing in space nobody hear you scream. <laughs> What's going? Oh. What happened? Where George is? Someone's trapped us in a topiary labyrinth. Huh? A maze made of fancy bushes, George. A puzzle. But the real question is, who could have... We love puzzles! George, go first! Yay! Me find way! No, this way! Oh, no! <laughs> Impossible! George so scared! Nothing is impossible. But this is George's favorite loincloth! It's your only loincloth and our only hope. Now come with me. See? Now we know we've been here before. <laughs> Tickle. <gasps> It's the Secret Ape Council, George. Cover yourself. Oh, no problem. Me need emergency loincloth. Where do you keep that? Ahem. You have passed the Secret Ape Council Sacred Maze Test. Let me win. The test wasn't for you. It was for him. Me? But why? Ape, we'd like you to join the Secret Ape Council. And that is what it looks like when our normally reserved ape has his mind blown. You see, it's always been ape's dream to be on the council. Trick or treat! When I'm grown up, I'm gonna be on the ape council. They control the laws of nature. I accept, I accept. Wait, that is, unless George still needs me. <laughs> Ape dream come true. <gasps> Me so happy. Yes, yes. Let the ceremony begin. But the Ape Council only invites new members when an old one passes on his rune. Who am I replacing? Do you want the peel or not, Captain? Mind your own business. <laughs> and with the flipping of the sacred switch, the ceremony is complete. Welcome to the Ape Council, Ape! Hello, hello, is this thing on? You'll get the hang of it. Now, we must go. It's two for one spicy eagle wing night, and we don't want to be late. See you tomorrow for your first day on the job. Wing, wing. George, I, I just want you to know that I'll miss you. Breathe, George. You don't have telepathic powers. 
George misses too. Lots and lots and lots. We'll mentor George when Ape gone. George, you're a grown man now. You don't need a man. You'll find someone, George. Double Mochachino! How did you? We of the Ape Council know everything. It's our duty to ensure that the universe runs like clockwork. First, we make sure the sun rises on time. Done. Excellent. Let us have a mid-morning snack before we continue with our arduous tasks. Next, we make sure the grand waterfalls flow in the right direction. Another for the all-important and impressive council. Let us break for an executive lunch. Don't the falls always flow in the right direction? Now, we must make sure the stars in the night sky are properly calibrated. And they are right. Uh, is this really all we do? George and I would have stopped that creepy bush baby from being creepy. Your enthusiasm shall be noted in the monthly newsletter, should you decide to start one. It's been a long day. Not really. But we still have one monumental task. We must check the seals on this cave. What's so important about it? Well, it's the, uh... The Danger Portal of Doom! Right, Total Doom! The Danger Portal of Total Doom? Sounds fishy. What's inside? Quit being nosy again. Seals look good! Another success for the all-important Sacred Ape Council! We are the best! Would you ladies like to join us for cocktail hour? Are you sure these seals are good? Is this just masking tape? George? George! George, wake up! Oh, hello, Ape. Hey, meet Gary. New mentor. We keep jungle safe. But that lion's about to eat that zebra. Look! Gary, what George do? Okay, Gary, if you say so. Hey, good plan, Ape. I'm sorry, George. I have to go and find a better mentor than that, Gary. Woe is us! The seal has failed! And he has escaped! Who's he? He is Cecil. He was a counselor like us until he went... Crazy Bananas! By Crazy Bananas, he means Cecil got tired of how the council was just a bunch of lazy apes. He wanted to change things. First, for good. Like with a children's literacy campaign. So he tried again. And again, and again. But the selfishness of the Ape Council drove him mad. And then drove him evil. Before long, Cecil controlled the entire jungle. Sure, triple volcano fountain, animal explosions, blah, blah, blah. But when he set our hot tub on fire, we knew we had to act. We took his banana peel and sealed him in this portal forever. Yes. Uh, where does it go? Should we care? <laughs> and that is why you deserve to be destroyed. You may have taken my sacred banana peel, but I created something even more powerful. The pan-dimensional half-coconut helmet. Cecil, I demand that you... Get lost! And I demand that you feel an icy robe wind! So cold! Needy moss hug! Oh, my personal space! We have to do something! 
something. He's too powerful. We grow weak. Yes, our power drains from our banana rooms. We're helpless. What? Mine feels fine. No, I'm growing too weak to stay awake. This can't be happening. Now you see them for what they are, ape. Lazy, no good peel jockeys. Hmm. You think we should check it out? Okay, Nico. You pretty good mentor, Woody. You're not like them, ape. Eh? Join me, and we'll make the jungle a better place. <laughs> Let me show you what real power is. You mean like a mentor, which is someone you listen to? How I used to mentor George? Yeah, I know what a mentor is. Okay, I'd love to get closer and join you, but... <laughs> but what? Uh, but I need to get my nose clean first. What? Uh, show me your powers. Ah, you want to see what I can do? Okay, fine. How about this? Impressive. But what if you wanted to sneak up on someone? Now choose. Are you with me or not? Well, on the top of my head. I think I'll take back my offer. His head. His head, George. Eat his helmet, George! Oh. Ah! What have you done? It took me all morning to carve that out. Our plan was a success. You show great willingness to do stuff, Counselor Ape. So I offer you my position as Top Banana of the Ape Council. Really? But I... Of course, I'd still be the official Top Banana, but you'll do all the Top Banana work. I thought being in the Council was what I wanted, but I already had my dream job as your mentor, George, and your friend. <laughs> okay then, everyone else, hot tub at my place! Come on, George, let's go home. Well, that was a waste of time. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! <laughs> Those were my friends. George, you've been fighting robots non-stop for a week. Cut! Uh, robot not! Uh, run out! Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackle this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape! George, go to Robot Jungle! <laughs> Hey, Robot Jungle! 
Knock it off with robots, okay? Oh, hello, Robot George. Beep, boop. Robot George, do something wrong? Robot George, not programmed for failure. <laughs> Robot George, it okay? It okay? George, I'm not the robot, you! I have to say that way too often. Hey, psst. Oh, that close one. George, look! Manufactured by Chicago Dentaltronics. Aha! Uh -huh. Dun, dun, dun! What's that mean? It means this! The jig is up, Dr. Chicago! Yeah! Stop, robot spam! Ah, oh, wow. Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait, if Chicago no send robots and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My, my, Moopkins! <laughs> oh, yes, laugh it up. What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh. George Collar. George, <gasps> have no mom! You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan, plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? Oh, that's right, 01 was the year of that great hammocane. <laughs> now that was a doozy. <laughs> picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that a little... Hmm, pork. George not know what it like to have mom. Hey, what, Chicago? Come out here at once! Ah, she's here! Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his moompkins is none of our business. But George wants to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you! Deploying anesthetic ray. George, help me and I'll tell you anything. Just wants to know about moons. Deal! I can't feel it, my brain. George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape! George have to do this! But George, he's the enemy! Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. Ah! <laughs> Doctor! You left everybody's favorite tooth boy behind! Uh, hi! I'm Cuspid. I was created by your son, so that makes me your grand! Chicago always have same mom? Unfortunately, yes! <laughs> this what they call quality time? For the Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. No, that just zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Too smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicagos have a long and storied history of dental malpr- I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh... How is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a... It's coming straight for us! Cuspid? Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moomkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moomkins will catch you in her loving embrace. Ever. Never, ever. Just like Robot George! Cuspid? He was an abomination!
abomination, but he was my abomination. Oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his moomkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me. I could never out-dentist my mother. But Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist. You're right. I am a mad scientist. A great mad scientist. Well, I'm just as evil as any dentist. Time to show Moomkins what this mad scientist can do. Uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George? Do you think George Mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George too? Maybe, George, just maybe. There's no escape this time! <laughs> Mustache. You thought Stuart got it from his father? You turned your back on your family history! I'm gonna drill you into atoms! <gasps> Leave Evil Doctor alone! <sighs> George never said that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am! <laughs> Scare me anymore, Robo Caspid! <gasps> ah, fitting tribute, I suppose. Ah, I'm so proud of you! But I. Weren't you going to annihilate me? I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering. You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely evil. So touching. Golly, did I miss the battle? Husband, you're alive! Of course he is! I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown! He sure is swell, but could you do something? Anything! About the unending pain? George, <laughs> thanks for putting Mumpkins and Sun back together. So we can crush you together as a family! George happy to learn what it's like to have mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down! Oh, hey, Ape! For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, what it like to have father? <gasps> Papa Chicago. Chicago! I didn't tell him I borrowed the robots! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkins? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. The jungle, a savage place where might makes right where it's eat or be eaten, and it's usually be eaten. Wait, what's going on? What's that about? I don't know what to say. This is... Totally bonkers! It's like they're ready for war! Usually they only ready for nap. Oh no. I think I know what's happening. Quick, come with me, George. Sure. Don't worry about me or my research. Medieval sloth. That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure. <gasps> that 
That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure! Backwards waterfall! Technically, it's water rise, and it's not a good sign. No! It rained! Whee! <laughs> On vacation from Crazy Town, back tomorrow. That seals it. Silly, Abe. No seals in jungle. You heard the man. Pack it up. George, all these strange occurrences, all these signs, they can only mean one thing. It's George's birthday? No. Tomorrow is... <gasps> Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day! Hold on. How come I've never heard of that? Ah, here it is. Bonkers, Jungle Reversum Day. It's an ancient jungle tradition where everything flips for a day. Plants chase animals. Prey goes after predators. The weak devour the strong. In short, everyone goes totally bonkers for 24 hours. Ooh, sound like fun. You, not at all. You'll need to be bad, George. Not a king. But a gnick. That's exactly what he must be. But a bonkers jungle river someday might be ridiculous. It might even be illegal. Mm. But it's tradition. <laughs> Do you think we like wearing this silly get-up every day? No, it's itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. It's tradition. And as jungle king and mentor, you two must set an example for the rest of the jungle. Or else. Or else what? You don't want to know. But George do want to know. <gasps> it begins! River Sunday! <laughs> George, save Anteater! George? So, George not save Anteater? No, and in fact, you should probably make things worse. You're a gnick, remember? Be me. Uh, okay. Good. I mean, bad. Now come, there's more evil to do. Don't tell, okay? Sorry, Badger. George no have choice. George, I know it's hard, but you need to be a worse king. Even I'm supposed to be a terrible mentor today. Eat this. Oh, but George no good at being bad. Feels wrong. Like when George put on loincloth backwards. What can we do? It's tradition. Now rub this poisonous plant on your face. <laughs> Where'd my little Nobel sloth go? Hmm? Mama needs some groundbreaking research. Wow! Those are replicas, right? <laughs> That's right, George. Only a terrible king would eat all these kittens. Come along. There's other animals to be mean to. Sorry, baby cats. If it make you feel better, you taste nice. <laughs> Oh, it's like rat school all over again! Oh, man! I'm so worried! How am I ever gonna get away from the slowest animal in the jungle? Oh, my God! They're crazy fast! Hey, Julie, in trouble! It appears so, but there's nothing. Ah! You can do, George. In fact, you should probably... <laughs> trip her or something. But George King! George's supposed to help! Help! Help me! 
I'll share a prize with you. I promise, no bells for every sloth. Is that boiling oil? <laughs> George? Shh. No one can know me save you. Uh, <laughs> me only save Magnolia because me want to eat her myself. George, wait, what are you? I don't know about you, but that looks like freak eating to me. Chew, or it doesn't count. George, I don't want this very much. George can't do it. George can't be bad. It's wrong. <laughs> Magnolia tastes bad, too. <laughs> Any tradition that makes a grown man cry <laughs> because he had to chew on his friend's head can't be right. <laughs> Isn't this all just a little bonkers? No, it's tradition. And by breaking it, you've triggered another tradition. The one that says anyone who breaks tradition gets thrown in old Hockey Fire Mountain over there. You're here. <laughs> Capture the king! And the girl, too! Just because. George, run for it! Ah, but you bad mentor. George, stay right here. <laughs> oh, and you're going into the volcano, too. <laughs> we hide here in tree until crazy backwards stay over. <laughs> That's what this is? Why? Why would anyone do this? Meh, tradition. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... Ah! Hey, Tree, stop being mean. They're over there! Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Wait, George, <laughs> for two. Hi! Ah! Ah! Oh, um, quick, we find new place to hide. Find them! This way! <laughs> they can't hide forever! My robe is so itchy! Uh, hi! Get her! No, don't! This isn't working! No worry, George, no last place to hide! Um, I don't know, George. Seems a little obvious to me. No, is perfect! See? No one here. Ah! We're going in the volcano, aren't we? <laughs> Bonkers Reversum Day is almost over. Can't we just say you threw us into the volcano? I'm an excellent fake screamer. No, please, why, why? See? They who break Reversum Day tradition will soon become an apparition. Nice. Last chance, loincloth. Be a good gnick and give cargo shorts here a molten rock jacuzzi, or it's bath time for all of you. No! George never do bad things, not even for dumb tradition. Why? No, no, it's fine. I, uh, I just wanted to do it. You monsters! You can do them. Right! Yep, George finally decided to be good, Ganick. So he breaks the volcano open. <laughs> Gonna make big boom now. What? We're all doomed! I wanted to say that. Fix it! Fix it now! You say not to break tradition. Unless... Do you want to admit that tradition isn't an excuse for doing something horrible and dumb? Ah! I think they've learned their lesson. Now fix the volcano, George. No, you know fool George. Me no tradition very important. Besides, it's still reverse some day. Have a cool, see? Ah! 
It was still reverse someday. <laughs> so bad. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! Life in the jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction. And between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Um, Natural. Good work, George. Ah! Ursula set river free. No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed him, and Ursula destroyed Baby Sloth Valley. Ah! George tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George. That's a staring contest. Paper beats rock. That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Ah! Tag. George tells Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula. And so is that. It sure. Ah! Now we fight! What? Wait! May I suggest oh, a jungle vote? Oh, instead, oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The sacred jungle vote, where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not want it. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals.
animals want much help today. Jerks think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. Can I ask you for a mani-pedi, or would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. <laughs> Good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just flying there. Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on, bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am. Savage me. Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm, cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The river of bats, the banana peel road, the itchy nostril caves. Yep, this looks like place. Uh, <laughs> George traveled much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula, right? George helped too much. Animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George need Ursula help. Ah! Ah! Oh! Jungle animals need Ursula help. Ah! If Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? Wait, George realized Jungle need George and Ursula. And George sorry. Ursula whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed. Devenomed weaklings, those fleshy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula, we teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs, and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. No! No, you! No! Like this! George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Weevil, nature. 
creatures reclaimed her savage roots, and her vengeance will be fierce, merciless, and swift, like it should be. What? Who wants to fight? You call that a haymaker, fancy wings? Ursula really makes jungle wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howell, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, Abe. George, help. Helping Ape not count. The Jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George have idea to keep zebra safe. There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape right. <laughs> now all animals safe. George, you really think that Shh. George no a proud of George. <laughs> this is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? That you dream wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? Nah, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating! I need a present! Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think! Or you're dead! Yes! Fondue set! <laughs> Those are perfect! Two metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year! Just add in same-day shipping and... How much?! I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni! You don't understand! My mother is... Let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it! No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? 
Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, Ape? George's busy. George? George! No need, Yell. George right here. Wh how? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too. George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey! Put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey! George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. Wow, I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. No, George, I mean, really, does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! <laughs> Japan? You show us now? Huh. If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Come on, come on, come on! Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Asato jungle on Yoga Suru. Hey! That looked like. Korea Padada, Zemonda! Okay, George, now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain! George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey, stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay, people, time to raid the D list! Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <clears throat> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! 
No, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. <laughs> How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. That tickled unexpectedly. Good news! George, back! And good news! George, think of playing this time! George, draw it in box! <sighs> what was I really expecting? Plan step one! Defeat Doctor! Away from that, Cuspid! Hey, George, don't finish playing inside here. Get out! Get out! Get out! George, have bones again! And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals return to normal. And then we'll return to sender for a full refund. Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed my we should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff gives George big headache. George not want break brain. <laughs> George? 